Hello YouTube, and to all my fellow historic firearm enthusiasts, welcome to my channel, Bolt Forward. Today I would like to present to you my Japanese Type 14 Nambu pistol, the only handgun I've ever shot inside my house. <clears throat> I mean the primary Imperial Japanese sidearm from 1927 to 1945. The 14 in Type 14 stands for the 14th year of the Emperor, or to the rest of us peasants, 1926. This particular example was built in the Tokyo Arsenal in 1928. The controls on this handgun are rather unique in that it discourages modern shooters from using them. If you take a look at the safety lever here, every single time you move it, it peels off another layer of that gorgeous bluing. Imagine having a gun that depreciates in value every single time you use the safety. Oh sweet baby Jesus, just take a look at that high definition wood grain up close. Mm -hmm. Can we all just take a minute to appreciate the level of polish and detail that somebody put on the inside of this chamber? And moving on. A pretty interesting piece of provenance with this particular example is that the soldier that captured it wrote his information on the holster. Right here it says Tokyo, Japan, 1945, Frederick R.J. Gourlay. Man, had the original Japanese officer had only known how much this gun was going to be worth in 2022, he perhaps would have held onto it just a little bit better. I'm sure there's a dark joke in there somewhere. And how's about we enjoy a little bit of that good leather ASMR? Mm-hmm. Due to the inability to get 8mm Nambu ammo, I was forced to use a 9mm snap cap for the slow motion footage here. Interestingly enough, the 8mm Nambu round and the 9mm Luger round are very similar, and I oftentimes wonder how much more successful this gun would have been had it been chambered in a standard military round such as 9mm Luger. If you ever get your hands on one, something might not quite feel right. The gun's massive, being larger than a Luger, but the narrow grip makes it feel tiny in the hand. Yet despite the gun's shortcomings and the various oddities, the Type 14 Nambu is a real piece of art, and it's a gorgeous example of early Japanese quality and elegant design. And since you can't get ammo for these things, it will stay pretty forever. Can't put wear and tear in a gun you can't shoot. Or can you? So, due to the fact that this thing is prohibitively expensive to shoot and ammunition is pretty much unobtainable right now, my team of highly trained some things, they're my friends, I think. My team of historians have gone over several documents and combat footage to basically generate a very accurate representation of what this gun would have looked like in battle. Uh, what you're about to see is a highly realistic simulation of the Nambu pistol in combat during World War II. All right, boys, it's just one Japanese soldier. We got to take him out. Our superior industrial might and our love of freedom will take the day. America! America! Not today, American. Bang. 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 Pow. Bang. Yeah. I should have known. The 1911 with its inferior 45 ACP round and uh, low magazine capacity would have led to my ultimate demise. Glory to the Emperor. Banzai. This has been my Japanese Type 14 Nambu. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on Bolt Forward.